Oh, hey, sup. Yeah, so, uh, common question is, what is my process for making videos? I, I know this is a pretty common topic, and I know there's a bunch of videos out there for this, but this is just my personal process, and people can look at it and be like, oh, that's his personal process. It's like I'm a stalker, and I don't even gotta sit out his window and watch. Alright, so, pretty much I start off with Fraps. It's a good program, you should probably look into it. I don't know if you got it or not. If you do, good. If you don't, what the hell are you doing with yourself? Uh, 30 FPS, record both sound and uh, uh, mic sound, which is external input. Now, that's uh, that's also a thing. With that, you don't really want to do that, but I do it because I'm lazy. But, uh, shut up, Windows. But uh, a good thing to do would be uh, check that off and then go download this Artist City right here. And, uh... What I'm doing right now is recording myself talking, and, uh, well, it's pretty handy. I'm just gonna say that much. And you can put that audio over the in-game sound audio. And you can, uh, lower the levels, up the levels, whatever you want. Make it sound better or worse, I don't care. Uh, anyway. Uh, video program I use is, uh, Sony Vegas Pro 8. It's, uh, it's a bit old. I think there's like a 10 out now or something, but... I, I use... Shut up, Windows! I want to kick you in the balls! Okay, it's, uh, it's pretty old, but it's, uh, it works good. And, uh, well, you go get it. I don't, I don't care. Windows Movie Maker might work, too, but whatever. This is the uh, new project settings, which is uh, 1280 by 720 which will do the widescreen HD nonsense. And, uh, pix whatever. You, you see it. I don't got to read it out for you. Okay. So, aside from that, once you record things in Fraps, what it does is it splits each uh, footage file into... I'm going to kill the... All right, whatever. I don't care. I'm going to ignore it. Uh, it splits each footage file into, uh, size, I don't even remember the size of the freaking files, but, uh, it, it pretty much just puts them into separate files, so it's easier to manage, not as, like, heavy on the system. And, uh, so this is just a, a section of, uh, footage I got for Anisha, for example. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's how you do that, you just drag it right in. It's quite handy. Um, yeah, with that said, uh... Alright, you want to do something simple, like, uh, you want to split this thing, you want to be like, oh, I don't like this loading screen here. So you go to where the loading screen is, you want to zoom in with a mouse wheel, for the record. And if you don't like the uh, loading screen, you just go to the loading screen where it starts, press S to split it, kind of like, uh, you know, you split something in half. I don't know, you're karate, I don't care. Uh, anyway, uh, you split that, and then, uh, you want to just drag over until you're done with the loading screen. Pretty simple. I mean, if you don't want to do that, you just go to where it ends and just split again, and then click it and delete it. Simple as that. Uh, if you want to move these two separately, just click on it and then press U. That means ungroup, and uh, now they're not friends anymore. They found an argument. I'm sorry. Anyway, if you wanted to go back, just uh, highlight them all and uh, well, don't click, click, hold shift or control. I don't care. And press G. They're grouped again. Congratulations. So, after that, uh, we got other things, simple things like, uh, fade in and out, where you just do the corner right here, it's like a, like a quarter of a pizza, I don't care. Anyway, you just hold the corner, then you drag in. See? You see on the screen how it's like fading dark? Yeah, that all depends on how long you do it. It's just a fade in and out thing. You do it for the audio too. I don't care. Do what you want to do. And, uh, if you don't want to do that, and you just want to go to like another scene quickly, you can just like, push it into it, so it's like, oh my god, I'm going to transition into this scene with a special fade-in effect. So you can see both scenes right there. It's all fancy. Awesome. So, okay, another thing would be, get out of here, scene, I don't need you anymore. Alright, you got this scene right here. I'm going to push it over here real quick. Alright, this is, uh, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I really don't. But, uh, if you right-click it, go to Properties, and then you go to here, Method, for Classic. Alright, see this right here. It says original and new length. That's nice and all. I want this to be longer, so I'm going to make it about 9 seconds. And then the pitch change right here. The number, as it raises, your pitch gets higher. You get to sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. I don't care. And the lower, you get to sound like uh, that dude in jail who's probably of a colored nature and beats up people. As racist as that sounds, you know it's true. So anyway, put it to be like uh, 2. And, uh, now it's gonna be, uh, 
longer, but it's also going to be a higher pitched. So since it's longer and a higher pitch, it's still going to sound a bit normal. But if it was shorter and a lower pitch, it would sound still a bit normal. See, you got to go opposite. If you want to do a shorter and higher pitch, that's going to sound crazy. If you uh, want to do longer and lower pitch, you're going to sound crazy. I'm sorry, it's the way it is. And you can even uh, keep the freaking, uh, here, check it out. You can keep the um, pit, uh, the length the same and change the pitch itself, so it'll just make you sound like a friggin' Fred from that YouTube thing. I don't care. What do you want to do? Just do it. So, with that said, a few more things would be, uh, if you right-click this thing right here, go to Switches, go here, Disable Resample. You don't need the freaking resample. I don't know if you understand this, but, uh, when you go look at your footage, you see it's really blurry? I don't like the blurriness. What the resample does, it uh, it pretty much, it takes a frame, and the next frame over, it blurs into it, so it's like a seamless transition. You don't need that when you're recording game footage. For like, video files, like you're recording your little like kid running around with a ball, I guess you might want it, but with video footage, you don't need that at all. It kind of ruins it, so get rid of that. No one wants to see that shit. Uh, another thing. This right here is the audio slider right here. So the lower goes, you don't hear anything. That's me right there all the way. Higher it goes, it's loud as shit. So what I do is I just put it on like 3.8 when I'm done with it. And it gives a nice audio effect. You know, if you can't hear it, lower it. I mean, no, don't. Do do not do that. If you can't hear it, you freaking raise it, man. I'm going to kick your ass. All right, so that's, uh, hmm. that's pretty much it for that. Uh, this, oh, yeah. For the record, uh, this is the preview thing right here. So if you have a good computer, I have a pretty decent computer, so I put it at best full. So you get the, the full resolution, you can read everything, it looks nice. Uh, if you don't have a good computer, you might want to do a preview half, a preview auto, or even draft. I've never had to use draft before, but, you know, either way, it just it helps with editing if you're able to do best. But if you, you just can't do it, Use preview, normal mode, and you can still edit. Just won't look as pretty, it won't look normal. And, uh, yeah. With that said, uh, render as. That's what you want to do when you want to render a video. So you just go up to render as, be like, oh, look at all these videos. I'm going to make one too. I'm going to render it. Now, really quick, just, just for the record, um, if you have an audio file and you want to edit it, and you're like, oh man, there's background noise in this freaking spizzle, and you want to get rid of it. Um, you just alright, go here, save as type, and you go to MP3, and then you make the MP3 file, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna take this MP3 file and open it in Auto City, and I've already made a video about noise removal and nonsense, so I'm not gonna do it. But you do that, and then you save it, and then you export it as an MP3, and then you drag it back in here, so. For uh, for example, really quick, I'm going to drag in an audio file. <laughs> wow, it's a lot of audio files. Okay, so I drag one in. It's like, oh, it's my audio file. And then I replace that with whatever audio file I already had. So this is my audio file right here. Boom. Boom. See, audio file replaced. And then I just go back up to render res. And then I go to WMV. That's what I, I personally do with WMV. Other people say MOV. Some people say AVI. I don't really care. I do WMV. All right, I don't get paid for this. And uh, then, uh, if you want the HD nonsense on YouTube, uh, there's this template automatically on there. It's called 4.8 MB. You, you, you can see it. You're not blind. If you're blind, I don't know what the fuck you're doing on YouTube anyway. Uh, pretty much, use that. I know there's a bunch of videos where you're like, oh, man, there's these custom settings. It makes my life so much better. Well, goddammit, I'm still poor. All right? If it made my life better, I would have won the lottery. So your shit is lies. Anyway, so you do that, and you hit, like, this is my video that I made in my spare time. So you make that video, and you're like, oh, I'm going to render it now. Now, this can take either words of 10 minutes to 3 hours, depending on your computer. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, that's the process, and uh, pretty much, that's really what you got to do, okay? It it's pretty simple, but... Uh, don't be lazy about it, okay? Don't be lazy. Oh, one more thing. Forgot about this. You go right-click anyone on this timeline right here. Insert text media. Really handy thing. 
You can put it over anything. You'd be like, this is text. All right, cool. I love text. And uh, if you want this to be over the file and you want it to be manageable, right click over here and go to insert video track. And then you want to drag this above it. See, now you can see everything. It's great. I love it. And uh, one more thing. You can lower the opacity right here on the top of it. Just drag down. Oh my god. Holy shit. That is amazing. I know. I'm a freaking wizard. Alright, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not a tutorial maker. I'm just doing this for the hell of it. Alright, so uh, take it easy and fuck you, Windows. Stop doing that. Bye.